Creed from New Camp, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Victron control panel. Uh, this is essentially your monitoring panel and control panel for uh, the electrical system in the 920. So your solar, your battery power, uh, your inverter, converter. Uh, this is where you're going to see all the information displayed for that. So we'll go over how to view it, but also how to uh, control some of the settings on it. So let's get started. The Victron Energy Servo GX interface is your electrical system at a glance, showing your battery state of charge, power consumption, and solar information. Each box on the screen represents a different part of your system. For example, the red box, which is labeled grid, shows your shore power or generator power. When you are boondocking or camping without hookups, no numbers will be displayed in this box. Your grid power passes through the MultiPlus inverter charger to your AC loads and also charges your batteries. The MultiPlus display indicates its state. When you're on shore power, it will display bulk, absorption, or float. Bulk means it's sending the maximum power to the battery. When it goes into absorption mode, it is still sending substantial power, but the battery is nearly full. Once the batteries are full, it goes into float mode which trickle charges the battery as needed. If you are boondocking, it will say inverting, indicating it is powering your system without shore power. The green box on the screen displays your AC power usage for items like air conditioning, outlets, and the microwave. These require the inverter to be on. The blue box on the bottom left shows your battery information, such as charge percentage and power flow, watts and amps. Positive numbers indicate charging, while negative numbers show usage. The teal box represents your DC power usage for things like lights and the water pump. The box, labeled PV Charger, shows your solar panel output. We are currently inside the New Camp Service Center, so the wattage reads zero. The moving blue dots on the screen indicate power flow. This visual helps you manage the power efficiently, especially when boondocking. You can swipe on the interface to view the information in a different format. By tapping on the screen, you can access the menu for detailed settings. In the menu, you can view and adjust the settings for the MultiPlus. The 920 has two 3000 watt MultiPlus inverter chargers. The first setting is switch, which keeps the inverter and converter active. On is the default setting. Inverter only is used for service purposes and charger only deactivates the inverter to conserve power. You may want to use charger only mode if you are boondocking. The input current limit should be adjusted based on your outlet. For example, set it to 15 amps if you're using a 15 amp outlet to avoid tripping a breaker. The Cirrus 920 is set up to run off 50 amps. Next is the smart shunt. This monitors the battery status, including voltage, amp usage, wattage, and consumed amp hours. It also provides an estimate on how long your battery will run based on the current usage. The solar panel system shows solar production and indoors this will read zero. There are more advanced settings within this menu under the general tab. If you do want to learn more about these, we recommend referring to your owner's manual. You can also update your system's firmware and set the date and time in this menu. Finally, let's look at what happens when you're boondocking and not connected to shore power. In this scenario, the red grid box will be empty, indicating no shore power. You'll see the power flowing from your battery to the rest of the system. If you navigate to your menu and select the smart shunt, it will provide an estimated duration your batteries will last based on the current usage. This information is incredibly useful for managing your battery usage efficiently. We hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, you can email us at tech at newcamprv.com. Thank you and have a great day.